Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I'll be giving you some helpful tips to create some successful characters for your short films. In this video, we'll be looking at eight helpful character development tips, as well as a drama practitioner called Stanislavski, who I found really useful when acting to understand my character further. This website from masterclass.com gives us eight useful tips for character development. The first tip is to establish a character's motivations and goals. This is a very important thing to consider because if your character had no objective or goal, then they would be in your film for essentially no reason. Therefore it's important to flesh out your character and give them something worthwhile to aim for. Once you have the main character's first story element then it will be much easier to flesh out your script and fill it with scenes that that character goes through in order to achieve their objective. Next you have to choose a voice, whether that be first, second or third person. Now if your film has a narrator, then the perspective of that narrator will impact your story immensely, as the perspective of the narrator will determine how the character's information is revealed over the course of the story. The third tip they give is to do a slow reveal. I learned this at university and you definitely want your audience to discover things throughout your short film, so it's important that you don't reveal their full character straight away. By revealing information throughout your short film, your audience will remain interested and your character will feel more based in reality, as when we first meet someone we don't tell them our entire life story. Another great thing to consider is creating conflict in your script, whether that be something stopping your main character from achieving their objective or goal, or more commonly creating a good and bad guy. It's important to remember that everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and these can be emotional, physical or spiritual. So have fun with playing around with different types of weaknesses in your short films and try to create something original. Conflict is great at creating tension and is used to move the story forward by forcing characters to make decisions. Another method that you can use to flesh out your characters is by giving them an important backstory. Even if your short film doesn't show the character's backstory, it will be helpful to the actor consider where their character has come from in order to determine how they will tackle where they are going. Their backstory can also influence major story beats. This next tip is useful and I would apply it to all film genres. That is because whether you have a superhero or animated human, their character personality will always boil down to something that you can describe in familiar terms. And this will help the audience to understand the character that you're showing them on screen and might also allow them to relate more to that character. Whilst writing your script, you might also want to consider what your character looks like, as this could influence different story elements. For example, if they always wore a long coat, then perhaps whilst they're running away from someone, their coat could snag on something, leaving behind a clue for the bad guy to follow up. Although every short film has a main character, it's also important that you spend some of your time fleshing out your secondary characters, as this is who your main character will be interacting with most of the time. These secondary characters can also be really useful in making your main character seem more full and dynamic. Now those are some really useful tips from masterclass.com, but now we're gonna have a look at the Stanislavski technique and why it's successful when working with actors in getting them to develop their characters further. Stanislavski was born in 1863 and was a Russian actor and director. His technique stems from his theatre practices and is still used by actors all around the globe. His technique mainly revolves around given circumstances and the magic if. Given circumstances is the first step towards developing your character further, because as a director you can question your actor on what their character would do in a certain situation in order for them to understand and get into the mind of their character. The examples that they give here are where am I, what is it and what relationships do I have. Stanislavski describes the magic if as being able to imagine a character's given circumstances enough to understand what that character might do in a given situation. And once you've mastered given circumstances and the magic if, you will then be able to dive deeper into your character's objectives and super objectives. Now a character always has a task in every scene that will get them one step closer to their super objective that is often revealed at the end of the film. To find out what your objectives are, you ask yourself what does your character want in a typical situation? And as a director or writer of a screenplay, it is your job to understand what each character wants and the steps that they'll take to get what they want. 
Thank you for watching this short video and I hope you found most of these tips useful when writing or creating your own characters. 